Museum of the City of New York was working on an exhibition about seven years ago entitled Black Style Now. And that was when I first met Stephen Burroughs. And we were looking at the clothes, we were looking at some of the sketches that he had in his studio. And we just said, we need to do a show about you. Nobody has ever featured you in a major exhibition. We wanted to present Stephen Burroughs at a moment when he was strongest and most innovative. We wanted to focus in on the years 1968 to 1983 as his golden period. It's one of those New York stories. Stephen loves New York City. He grew up in Newark, but at the moment that he starts coming to New York City to go to FIT as a student, the passion for the city really takes him over. Stephen himself says that he wants people to have fun in his clothing. The clothing was not something that you conform to, the clothing conforms to you. And he thinks of his clothing as toys for adults. He does clothing that has no linings, that has no buttons or zippers or real structural parts to it. It's something that you just put on and wear and have a good time in. He's always a colorist. He always uses his signature zigzag top stitching as a decorative element. He refers to it as the blood that runs through the veins of his anatomical clothing. He was really only the second designer of color to ever receive any kind of popular acclaim. He wasn't really a black power person. He was very comfortable in his own skin. And, you know, to this day, it's just not an issue for him. He has a love affair with Whiting and Davis mesh, which is glittery and slinky and conforms to the body. It's perfect to dance in. And his whole vision of dressing up to go to a club is to wear Stephen Burroughs and be the star of the dance floor. So you don't even have to go through the bother of dancing until your clothing is soaking wet. There's very little clothing that you're wearing.